Welcome to Royal Haunts and part three of The Six Wives of Henry VIII. Queen Jane is as near to a rags to riches story as you can get. Her date of birth isn't known, but 29 ladies followed her coffin, which usually represents the age, putting Jane's birth sometime in 1508. She was brought up with the regular education of a Tudor maid, which would find her lacking at the side of Catherine of Aragon and even Anne Boleyn. Jane was lady-in-waiting to Catherine until she was transferred to the household of the new queen. Her family were Catholics coming from the gentry, and having formed a bond with Henry's first queen, it's easy to see that she wouldn't be so discomforted by the fact that Anne Boleyn was being got rid of more swiftly in the form of execution. It certainly brought more power and wealth for her family, and she was able to give the king what he wanted most, a son. If her age is gleaned as accurate, Jane was 28 years old, quite an age for someone not to have been married, but this may be due to a family scandal. Jane's brother, Edward, was married for a time, but when it was found his wife was having an affair with his own father, the marriage ended in divorce, and all the children from the union made illegitimate. This scandal hurt the Seymour family, and especially Jane in any negotiations for a suitable marriage. Some think that once Henry took an interest, Jane was no more than a pawn, but she played her part well. What had worked for Anne Boleyn in refusing to become the king's mistress worked just as well for Jane. She became betrothed the day after Anne Boleyn's execution, marrying Henry ten days later at York Place, which is now Whitehall, Henry being all but one month short of his forty-five years. Had Jane lived, she would no doubt have brought Mary back into the family, as she readily accepted Jane as her new stepmother. After all, her own mother had passed away, leaving Henry widowed and so free to remarry. Jane's son, Edward, would also have been more likely to be brought up a Catholic than a Protestant. When Jane died, twelve days after giving birth to Edward, Mary, being his godmother, was also chief mourner. Even Henry, loathing the colour black, saw fit to wear mourning attire for three months. Jane left little mark of herself as a reign as Queen was so short. She never got to coronation like Anne Boleyn, but it no doubt would have been a more sombre affair, along with the rigid dress coat she introduced, a total opposite to the Queen she replaced. Jane's spirit is said to wander Ampton Court, where she gave birth to her son, and where she died. She is said to go along the corridors from the state apartments to what was once a cobbled courtyard with a lighted candle in hand. The Seymour family home of Marwell Hall in Hampshire is also reputed to be haunted by her, this being where she lived when Henry began his courtship, but Jane was reticent, declining his gifts and notes as she solemnly reminded him that he was a married man. Jane was interred with all the Catholic rites at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, where just over nine years and three wives later, Henry joined her. The king went on to remarry, this fourth marriage being very political and also very inconvenient.